Hello. Welcome back to uh, the third part in my Dungeon of the Endless playthrough. We are on floor three. I am still alive. Uh, only have two heroes. I'm hoping to find a third on this floor. That would make things a lot easier. And they have no gear. It's going to be very exciting. <sighs> two doors. I always prefer going laterally. Dust and creatures. Yeah, that was like a purple zombie. You can see that? That was freaking nasty, man. Oh, I love doing some lighting so you guys know. It's all like lots of blues, and then you light it up, and all the lighting just flips around. It's beautiful. Anyway, one door clear. Oh, I'm getting lucky by getting a lot of dust in my first couple doors. This is good. So I can power all the way through these. Um, I think I should open that one, though, because that might not have a... There we go. Ah, oh, this is a dead end, too. Perfect. Oh, there's lots of stuff. So, Opbot is now operating operationally, and I can continue on. Into the next room, which has another industry pad. And a... That's... What? I'd found that later. That would have been really, really, really useful for the, uh, the move with the crystal. Wow, double speed bonus. I didn't know they had this. This thing that adds bonuses. And I can't put anything on that, I don't think. Oh, they're destroying that. I don't feel like destroying that. This is a light going fast. Another one! What? Um... So, my heroes have now become one with the Sanic. Alright, let's, uh... Let's keep opening doors. Hey! It's a merchant. Occam's Gouge. Wit and... Whoa. That's a very, very high damage up. Two wit, four attack power, two wit, two speed. So of those, I would buy that and put it on him. Because he does have a repair, and your repair is affected by your wit score. So if you have a crappy wit, and your repairs are going to take forever, and I'd rather be, you know, like, instant. That is so bad. <laughs> what kind of RNG is that, anyway? <laughs> oh, and this is the 2 2, which increases your base speed. So he's even faster now. He's wearing a pink 2 2, and he's just, you know. <laughs> oh, man, that is silly. I like it. Ooh, more industry. But I can't use. Oh, well, that's just uh, unfortunate. Oh, I can just, I can kite them. <laughs> uh, pulling that attack, affected attack cooldown instead. That would be actually ridiculously broken. So it's probably a good thing it doesn't. <laughs> Heroes just, you know, making mock speed across the entire floor. Man, I really wish I had not found those. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, and I could just. 
sprint away from combat. It's fantastic. That's what I always wanted. Which one is going for the crystal? Good. That dude had like a green energy whip. That was crazy. Oh, those are both construction pads. Oh, almost want to just toss the merchant to the wind, to the wolves even. That is absolutely necessary. Because I have 166 industry, yes, but you can go through that in a single floor by building modules and stuff. But these, yeah, these, uh, your majors will eat those up. That connects directly to the crystal. I can open this door. And run away from that. Wow. File on. Come on, single file. Man. That is one hard motherfucker. Fraud, fraud, fraud. I know I should have done that one, but then I'd have to defend it, and I don't want to defend it. Sweet. That's three turns left, and that's two turns left, which is just terrible. Oh, I wish those did not have to be found on the first <laughs> couple of rooms. I found it at the very end that was <laughs> more dust, which is always acceptable. And more creatures, which have more dust at them. Yay! It would be more productive if I said that. Uh, and then that. Uh, please have dust in here. Please have dust. It's fine too. No spec bracelets. Or bracelets. I don't have my glasses, so I'm just kind of having a hard time reading this stuff. I'm just gonna keep paying attention to the comment before filling my guy's stuff. Cool. I'm solved. Swap those. That will yep, increase his defense and his attack power by a tiny bit, and then I'll put that on this guy. Sweet. And I don't have enough power. I have that powered, but I should power that. Because I need the science. Yeah, see, now it's food replicator 3, and I would like to get that. Or. Um, the suppressive firebot. That would be nice. What's this? Viral injector. Poison duration 6 seconds, 10 HP per second. Spreads disease, not social media alerts. It's a dot. And it prioritizes special creatures. So, like... I don't know what a special creature would be. I don't remember any of them. Well, let's uh, keep going this way. Lovely cave. This is a hero. Sure, I'll create this hero. Who are you? Professor Josh Natello. <laughs> That's uh, all right. Team Spirit. Nice way to say he's scared to be alone. <laughs> I hear that. Alright, let's upgrade him a bit. Because uh, he will die if I leave him alone. Oh, we can operate! Fantastic! Guess what? Stand over there. Getting operating heroes is like, yeah, number one thing. Oh, and his active increases minor module damage. The lethal module tweaking. Yeah, but. Cool. Let's go down here. Ooh, more 
Uh, I probably should move him larger. Nope. It looks like those are both expired. So you're about to see what I mean. I say that your uh, industry stuff can just poof right underneath you. You can go the food replicator. And then another one. Like this. And. And a bot over there. That industry generator will be fine down there. On its loneliness. Uh, I want that. You know what? He's gonna have to take care of that module. So I will leave up what there. Self-powered room. Haha. Excellent. So I can now put some. Uh, one over where that dude is, and then I have that door there. There's no guarantee there's gonna be more than one room there, so I'm not gonna build anything there. <laughs> you see, now I'm regretting not building one there. Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to have an op on. He would get trapped in the room by himself and have to kill a bunch of stuff. He's not very good at killing. Being kind of a psychopath, he's very bad at murdering stuff. Okay. Whoa. Whatever's going on in there. Whatever was going on in there. Creepy. I like it. And I put a module in that room and that room. My gut is telling me yes, but my brain is telling me no, don't do that. You sleep battle dunce, don't do that. So I'm gonna open this door instead. It's a good thing I do not just waste 155. Ah, oh, man, I wish those giant crystal things I found earlier were, like, you know, not found earlier, because, uh, man. That that burns, you know? That right there burns. Let's see what else I can squeeze out of that. I'll take that. And that will finish instantly because this is the last door. Sweet. Here, and he is going to move here. I will unpower. Oh, not as planned. I don't know if this is the power. I stuck it here one there. It's still behind her. Actually, speaking of that room, I think I still have some stuff to sell that guy. Oh, oops. Uh, no, no, never mind. Oh, it increases his speed. No, it just nearly negates the 2 2. <laughs>
Can't use power in the miners and stuff. Shoot stuff. Because snow miners. Dungeon clear! Room 3 complete. That was only like 16 minutes. Cool. Alright. That seems to be the way things are going here. I will see you folks, figuratively speaking, on floor number 4.